Hey everybody, it's Rich at RM Auto Diag, and today we're having a look at a Vauxhall Corsa C, and we've got the engine light on. Okay, so the car's running, and we're already plugged in. We've got a few codes here. We've got our O2 sensor circuit codes for sensor two, heat open circuit, and we do have some misfire codes Sounds a little bit lumpy, but it's not misfiring at the moment. But yeah, a little bit lumpy on tick over there. So let's get under the bonnet, find this O2 sensor, and we'll look at that one first. Okay, so just real quick, I thought I'd have a quick check on the live data, and we can see that it's commanding on and off on the heater on the um, both lambda sensors. It says it's running lean, we don't have too much activity but it's uh, certainly not warmed up yet. Uh, we're starting to get some switching there on the, on the first one. After cat is pretty well just stuck at 450 millivolts. So that's just in between. So we'll get under the bonnet and we'll see if this uh, Lambda sensor's open circuit on the heater. All right, so I'm at the back of the engine here in the Lambda sensor number two and I've got the plug apart and you can see just where the probes from the multimeter are in there and that is in the two white wires for the heater circuit and we are checking resistance just come back out of it and we are completely open circuit here I don't know if we change the, the range on it whether it actually comes up with anything nope so we're completely open circuit down there so we can be uh, fairly confident that, that heater circuit's no good. The next thing we'll do is we'll just check to make sure we've got a feed to it as well, just to be 100%. And then this one will definitely need a new O2 sensor for the rear. Right, so what I've got set up here is I've just got a bulb and a bulb holder, just a little 501. You can go a bit heavier if you want with uh, bulb size. But that is back probed into the wiring harness side of the vehicle. So when we start the car up, we should see that flashing on and off. So just start the car up. Hear that exhaust blowing. You see that cycling on and off of the heater. So we know that we've got a good voltage supply, it's a nice bright light. It will carry some current. There's that misfire. So we definitely know that that is going to need a O2 sensor in the rear. Push that off. Right, what I will do is I think I might quickly just set up on this front one something similar when we can see the connector so I can just show you quickly what I'm doing down the back there. Right, okay, so this is just the front one, exactly the same as what you do on the back. We've got a grey and a black which is going to be the sensor and the sensor ground. Then we've got the two whites which are the heater circuit. So we went into the two whites and we checked the resistance. Then with the plug off, the two whites is these two on this end. So we just back probed it in and we're up to a bulb here. And then we saw the flashing on and off of that bulb. So we knew that we had a good voltage supply and it would carry some current. And that's basically exactly what we did down the back. I just thought, you can see it a bit better with what I'm doing here. All right, so that's a quick one on how to test no two sensor. Uh, cheers for watching. Come along for the next one. Cheers.